Hello, this is BBC News broadcasting to viewers in the UK and around the world. I'm Nancy Kachungira. The headlines. Russia steps up its bombardment of large parts of Ukraine as NATO warns the conflict is about to get worse. We'll be reporting from inside the country's second biggest city, Kharkiv, where residential buildings have been reduced to rubble by constant Russian shelling. This is so far from normal, it's kind of hard to, to even describe. And these people have no idea what they're going to do next. Europe's largest nuclear plant is shelled by Russian forces overnight. The fires are under control. Ukraine says Moscow is resorting to nuclear terror. The Russian tanks knew what they were firing at. They directly hit the plant. This is terror on an unprecedented level. And at Ukraine's borders, the refugee queues grow longer. More and more people are trying to flee. Hello and thank you for joining us. The United Nations Security Council is holding an emergency meeting to discuss the way in which Russian forces captured Ukraine's biggest nuclear power plant. The UN's political affairs chief has said attacks on nuclear power facilities are contrary to international humanitarian law. The Zaporizhia facility was shelled this morning, triggering a fire. The authorities say the site is secure and radiation levels are normal. The Ukrainian foreign ministry says several people have been killed and injured. The plant is in the southeast of the country, and it's the biggest in Europe. President Zelensky has accused Moscow of resorting to nuclear terror and urged Russians to protest. Russia has escalated its air campaign against Ukrainian cities throughout the last 24 hours. An official in the besieged port of Mariupol has accused Russia of trying to force it to surrender by creating a humanitarian crisis. He said the city was being shelled continuously. It's facing a third day without water, electricity or proper sanitation. Kharkiv in the northeast has been reduced to rubble. And Ukraine says at least 50 people were killed by Russian airstrikes in the northern city of Chernihiv. The Polish Border Guard Agency has confirmed more than 672,500 people have fled Ukraine to Poland since the war began last week. More than 99,000 people crossed the border just yesterday. Meanwhile, the NATO alliance has rejected calls from Kiev for it to impose a no-fly zone over Ukraine, saying that this could lead to a wider war with Russia. Our Eastern Europe correspondent Sarah Rainsford has this special report from inside Kharkiv, which has been bombarded by Russian forces this week. <laughs> 